So I'm here at the uh, Venice show at uh, Cal Poly, and I am talking to, what is your name, young lady? Tommy Hurd. Tommy Hurd. Now, I was wondering, Tommy, uh, do you have any affiliation with this show? Yes, I'm actually one of the promoters. You're one of the promoters. Mm -hmm. So, Tommy, uh, I was wondering, let's get a little tour of the, of the place. And uh, so, uh, how long have you been roughly in this business? Um, my whole life, my dad's owned a secondhand store, so I've been. What, uh, so, up. what was the name of the secondhand store that your father had owned? Uh, Just Stuff, the yard sale store. Just Stuff, and what city was that in? Uh, Redlands and Ukaipa. In Redlands and Ukaipa. So, when did you get the bright idea that you wanted to become the first Sunday show? of the Inland Empire at Cal Poly. When did this idea crystallize in your minds? About a year ago, we've been planning to do the first Sunday of the month. And what made you want to do this? Because this is a very, very tough business. Or have you discovered that? Yeah, yeah it's, pretty, okay. it's pretty difficult. Um, just because there's a need for it in the Inland Empire, so we really wanted to try and bring something out I see. that area. Now, uh, when when the show reaches its, its apex, its zenith, what would you... What would you like to be able to say about the show at that point? When it reaches it? Yeah, when it, when it has reached the point that, I mean, you know, it's, it's the show I consider brand new. This is only episode number two. Right. What is the thing that you would like to say about the show? I'd like to see it grow point? to 400 vendors. Well, that's, that's a pretty good size. <laughs> so that would, put you, that would put you at about 300 more uh, dealers than the Groves at its, yeah. at its best. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, it looks Half of. Minute. Half of Long Beach, and so um, what time? Now what? Now what time did you get here today? Uh, we got here at three fifteen a.m. <laughs> and what was going on at three fifteen a.m.? Um, all the vendors were here loading up and getting ready to have a good day. <laughs> so when you get here at that time, what are some of the first things that you need to do as one of the co? promoters of the show. What are some of your immediate duties in order to get things going? Um, well, we were here last night. Uh, oh, you got here last night? Well, we were, yeah, we were here yesterday from 4 to 9 last night. So, we, so from spaces. 4 o'clock in the afternoon to 9 at night, you were marking off spaces? Marking off spaces and um, putting up the fencing and roping off the parking lot. Okay. The and so then you left and then you got back Really, just a few hours later, you've got... Right. How much sleep did you get? Two hours. <laughs> Two hours. <laughs> and so, do you believe that as time goes on, months from now, that you will still need to maintain that rigid schedule, or you'll need to get there the day before and that early? or is Yeah, still, because I like to put a lot of extra time into making sure that, you know, everything is organized and put together the way it should be for the vendors, so it's not chaos the morning of. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much.